what we did was um, look at trials that have examined whether intensifying the dose of chemotherapy improves outcome. And what we mean by intensifying the dose of chemotherapy is trying to give um, the amount you give each week somewhat higher. And so you then cram the chemotherapy in a little bit faster. And the way, different ways of doing this, you can either give a higher dose of the chemotherapy drugs, but that's been shown in trials to be not achieve much more benefit beyond the standard doses. But a simpler way of doing it, which and a nice clean way of comparing more dose intense chemotherapy with standard chemotherapy is just simply to give the drugs every two weeks instead of giving the drugs every three weeks. And that means you're cramming the drugs in about 50% faster. And there have been seven trials, 10,000 women that have compared two weekly versus three weekly chemotherapy with exactly the same drugs at the same doses, but just giving them in faster. And those showed a 15% reduction in the risk of recurrence and almost the same, about a 13% reduction in the risk of dying of breast cancer. And these were highly significant differences. And so I think that establishes that increasing the dose intensity improves outcome. And we also looked at other trials where you can increase the dose intensity by giving the drugs um, one after the other instead of giving them together. And again, we found benefits that almost as good. And then there's another lot of trials where they uh, had both approaches. They gave the drugs every two weeks and they gave them uh, sequentially. And we found the biggest benefit in those trials, about an 18% reduction in recurrence and in breast cancer mortality. So these are statistically definite results showing that by simply by changing the scheduling of drugs, you can improve outcome. Well, it looks like combining both of them, i.e. giving the drugs sequentially and giving them two weekly, had the most promising results. And if you look at the dose intensification you can achieve with that approach, you're almost doubling the dose density, the amount of drug you got every week, while you only increased it by 50% with the two weekly versus three weekly. So it fitted with the um, whole theory that increasing dose intensity will be more likely to eradicate cancer cells and cure breast cancer. Well, we had follow-up to, up to 10 years, and we showed benefit not just in the first five years, but it looked like there was still some benefit in year five to nine as well. It would be very interesting to follow the trials up even longer. There was a suggestion that there was even benefit after 10 years. And the trouble with breast cancer is that, especially if it's got estrogen receptor positive, the risk of recurrence continues right out to year 20. So if you've got something, that, a treatment that could help prevent these late recurrences, that would be... Know, make a big difference in terms of numbers of breast cancer deaths avoided. When people give the two weekly drug, they tend, they, in all of these trials, they gave a, a drug that boosts the white blood cells and makes them recover faster. And so, in fact, we found there was less hematological toxicity with the two weekly than the three weekly. And we looked at other kinds of toxicity. Chemotherapy makes women feel tired, there's all sorts of other nasty side effects. And they were not very different between the two weekly and the three weekly. So given the size of the benefit, I think the, you know, the benefits to risk seem to be very favorable to the faster scheduling of the chemotherapy. In the States, people have generally moved towards this two weekly chemotherapy because there were two trials in the States that did show benefits in Europe. There was a very big trial in the UK that didn't show benefits. And when we pooled all of the data from all the trials, we could see that um, you know, some get slightly more favorable results by chance or some less. And so I think this, this study shows that the bad ones were a bit unlucky, that the benefit does approach, does, does improve outcome this, through this approach. And so I think that will alter practice, particularly in Europe, where they're still giving three-weekly chemotherapy very frequently.